Hello everyone, Susa Gamer here and welcome back to another Crossout episode and today we're gonna review Helios Plasma Emitter. You need these resources to craft Helios. Helios Plasma Emitter. It has 225 durability, it drains 4 energy, mass is 250 kilos. We have 1300 power score. And let's check out the perk. The enemy's cabin is dealt additional damage if all projectiles of the valet hit that target. Additional damage, but how much? Why there is no percentage of it? The damage counter is one stick ahead of the Prometheus and Synthesis. We already know that four of them deals 500 damage with Quantum Cabin bonus, by the way. Aesthetically, it looks awesome. They also added cool animation. This cable dangles when you move. So in this build, we're gonna use four Helios, Apollo Generator, Quantum Cabin, of course. With this cabin, we're gonna deal 20% more damage, only if they're not hitting us. Uh, four hovers, and yeah, basically that's it. So yeah, let's test it out. Enjoy. Quite crowded here. Oh! Here we go, my first spray. There we go, that was nice. Perfect. As long as I'm not getting shot, I'm gonna have 20% more damage from the cabin. Okay, we're cool. Okay. Oh, I got hit. Oh boy. Uh. Uh, yeah. Wow. Colleagues, colleagues. Under heavy fire, is that goblin? Are you capping my base? Oh yeah boy, you're pent. This is my base! Get out of here! Okay, base is safe. Let's help our boys out. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Is this a bot or... Oh, yeah. God damn it. You can kill bots really effectively with this weapon. Yeah, because they're slow, big. Not maneuverable. Yep, he's 
try to shoot. Okay. Oh, here we go. Critical shots. 2000. Oh, missed. Yep. Really hard to hit a uh, moving target from the far distance. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god, oh god. Okay, still alive. I don't wanna risk it. Someone is there, someone at the left. Oh, 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 that was close. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Get out of here. Okay. Still have three weapons. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh, that was close. Uh oh. Come on, come on, come on. I'm out of balance. Oh god, oh god. What? I have eight health. I'm just gonna run away. Where is he? He cloaked up or something? He probably cloaked up. Phew, that was close. But yet still not enough damage. Okay, that's quite weird. Oh god. There we go. I saw 600 damage there. Beautiful. Recapping the base. Let's go back. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Can't believe my. Oh god. I survived two times. Nice. Phew. Finish this. And that was quite nice. So apparently this gun is effective only if you hit a full clip. Let's jump down. Uh oh. Oh.
Don't cover him, boy. Oh, there you are. Perfect. Yeah. GG. But, but... Recapping. Um, don't know if it's bot or not. Probably player here. Oh, he's capping again. Oh, that was that's a bot. Okay. Oh god, I'm shaking too much. Just crashing everywhere. Yeah, that was a... Uh, I don't know. I damaged only bots, so... Yeah. Last one, Helios. Okay, let's flank them from the right side. Another Helios user.
Yeah, it's really funny to kill bots with this weapon, not gonna lie. So yeah, that's enough. Uh, so guys, I don't know. Something is wrong with Helios. I'm feeling like I'm hitting every target, yet the end game score is not enough for me. Like it feels like I have to take 3000 end game bonus because you know, it's like four legendary weapons, like come on. But only thing I get is 1.8, 2.5, you know, regular blue weapon, pink weapon scores. Now let me explain how all plasma emitters works in this game. So every plasma emitter have five shots in one clip. In synthesis, all beams deals 18 damage. In total, it makes 90. By the way, I'm calculating all of this by using Quantum Cabin. So if you want to see damage without Quantum Cabin, you can just reduce damage by 20% and calculate all of this again. Anyway, now Prometheus. As I told you in my previous Prometheus video, it's so close to synthesis that it almost feels like their same gun. Here's why. First beam of Prometheus deals 18 damage. Then it starts to adding damage bonus to itself because of the perk. 10% more damage than the previous shot. Second beam deals 20 damage. Third beam deals 21 damage. Fourth beam deals 24 damage. And the last shot deals 25 damage. That will make 108 damage in total. Let's look at the Helios. First four shots deals 20 damage. All of them. If you will hit enemy with full clip, the fifth shot will deal 48 damage. That will make 128 damage in total. Now here's the graphic of truth that reveals Helios's true potential. Let's start with the synthesis. 1 to 5, you see how many times you hit the enemy. So 4 means 4 plasma in one clip. 5 means you hit all the plasmas inside the clip. Excellent shot, okay. All five shots inside of your clip deals same damage, 18, all of them. In total, one clip deals 90 damage. We're cool. Uh, Prometheus 5, uh, let's remember the perk. Each shot deals 10% more damage than the previous shot. First shot, 18, same as Synthesis. If you hit enemy with your first two plasma beams, 38, 59, 83, total damage in one clip is 10-8. Uh, okay, so far we're cool. If we look at the total damage, there is 18 difference, 18 damage points difference. One heal is, guys. First shot, 20. Not that much, huh? Well, here's the sad news. It increases stable, like synthesis. Here is the truth about Helios. Two shots, 40. Three shots, 60. Four shots. 80. 4 shots, 4 plasma beams deals less damage than the Prometheus 4 shot. If you spray it one clip with Helios and hit your enemy with all 5 beams, at the total with one Helios you're gonna deal 128 damage. Now let's be more specific. If you miss one plasma beam inside your clip, you will deal 80 damage. Guys, 80 damage. That's same as Prometheus 5, like even less if we look at the graphic. Only 8 points more than the Synthesis 4 shot. Be aware of that. If you can't spray your clip with full accuracy, all 5 of them, your Helios is going to be useless. Almost useless. But if you have full accuracy, you're gonna deal tons of more damage. So as you can see, what makes this gun special is the 5th shot. The first 4 shots are useless. Like, personally, I can do more damage 
with my double harvesters, double hammerfalls, double wretchers. They request less resource than this guy. Here's the resources you have to spend to normal legendary weapon. And here's the resources you have to spend on this Night Rider event legendary weapon. Look at the difference. I don't know. Maybe I need to get used to it. Maybe I need to hit like aimbot. Because if you want to feel overpowered, you have to hit every single plasma in your clip. Five hits. No missing. And you know who can do that? Bots. Do you have bot accuracy? That's the question you must ask to yourself. Personally, I do not have that kind of accuracy. As you've seen in battles, I missed a lot. If there are moving targets uh, at the medium range, there's no way I can hit five clips. Like, it's too rare. Especially if he's zigzagging or something. And yeah, in that case, in middle range, this gun turns into a Prometheus 5. Excuse me. But it's effective in close range because it's hard to miss. Probably most of you guys gonna use this cabin quantum cabin and here is another problem if someone is shooting at you with machine guns or any other weapons the guy behind you with synthesis and he has quantum cabin he's gonna deal more damage than you but i still have to approve it unfortunately because the mvp ratio is good even though score is too low for this kind of setup maybe if i get used to it maybe if i improve my aim i can get more score in end games this is really evil like if you miss one plasma in your clip you're gonna deal less damage than prometheus 5 good job targum games smartly evil that most of the players doesn't even realize that they're being scammed for this kind of resource price it is definitely bad when i'm crafting weapons i'm looking at the resource and effectiveness ratio I'll say it all the time. There is some blue part setups that deals more damage and gets even more endgame scores than the legendary weapons. So personally, if you're gonna ask me, I'll say it does not deserve its price. But as I told you before, if you have bot accuracy, if you have accuracy that's similar to the bots, you're gonna get higher score in endgame. I think it's all about getting used to it, but still, it's so goddamn expensive. So yeah, that was the truth about the Helios. You decide if you're gonna craft it or not, personal choice. After seeing these graphics, after seeing these stats, do you actually think this gun deserves your hard-earned resources? But anyway, that's it for today, I'm gonna see you next time, peace out. Here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. Shoot you at the home. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, 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 oh. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, shoot you at the home.